Now we arrive at the second major category of the states and the attention is not in the physical world. The attention is withdrawn from the gross senses, from the lower layers or there is a very less amount of perception, sensations and awareness of the body or the world. A very light state of dreaming is daydreaming which everybody must have found themselves in. It is introverted thought, imagination. There is a story, there are visuals, there are sounds and so on. But uh, the body is not asleep and sometimes this state can be very vivid, especially in children. Sometimes they cannot distinguish between what is a daydream and what is the physical world. They overlap. This is more pronounced in highly creative and imaginative people. The attention has been removed partially from the physical senses. And there is our familiar night dreaming state, which I am calling it as REM dreaming, just to distinguish it from other kinds of dreaming states. It's a well-known state where the body is mostly inactive, it is paralyzed, and the attention is completely withdrawn from the physical senses. There is a dream world, there is a dream character, there are other characters in the dream, there are situations, objects, visions, sounds, other senses. But upon waking, we know that it was not real. Although there is a lot that can be said about the dreaming state, about the night dream state, but it gives us a glimpse of uh, the power of the layers When the state is active, there is an identity there which is somewhat different from the waking identity, but not much. And we see the familiar surroundings, the same houses, the same trees, similar kind of animals. And we see our friends and relatives, people we know. And uh, even the events that happen there, they resemble the waking state. They are a copy of the waking state. So you travel, you drive, you talk to people, you eat and so on. So we can immediately see that something close to the waking state layer is involved here. The memory from which these experiences are coming is very close to the waking state memory. And we can see an example of the projected state here because this memory is projecting an identity, a person with a body, with a dream body and there is a dream world. Although we do not pay attention to what is happening, but it is a miracle in itself that uh, this can happen. There is a complete uh, forgetting of the waking world and this dream person is totally involved in the dream world, thinks that this world is real and thinks that I am real. There are thoughts also, what is lacking is awareness. Sometimes there is a complete lack of rationality and logic. It is mostly driven by emotional states. We think that we are talking there. We think that we are seeing things. There is air, there is water, there are laws, laws of physics and so on. But upon waking, we realize that it was all a creation. It was a projection, nothing else. So probably we'll discuss about this state in more detail and compare it with uh, waking state in future videos right now we need to go ahead in the list and we enter a refined kind of dreaming state which is similar to REM dreaming but with the added component of awareness. Just like the state of awareness in the waking state gives us more control over our actions in the waking state and our thoughts, emotions etc. Awareness in the dreaming state gives us total control of the dreaming. And here we realize that it is possible to change the dream. It is possible to change the body, change the clothes, even change the people that we are looking at simply by will, simply by intention. And there is a memory of the person who is dreaming, the person whose body is asleep in bed in a real world, which means because of this heightened awareness, there forms a memory bridge between the layers involved in dreaming and the memory layer that holds the waking state information. Those who have experienced lucid dream 
they will now understand what i am saying lucid dream is known to be completely fake because of this memory bridge why are other dreams not lucid and why do we forget that there is a person who is dreaming who is sleeping in the bed because of this lack of memory bridge the waking memories do not invade into the dreaming state and so the dreaming state assumes a reality of its own in the case of lucid dreaming this memory is present that i am the one who is sleeping and this character here in the made up scenario in the imagined scenarios is unreal and not only that the people around me in the dream or the buildings or the locations they are also unreal the surprising thing is that even with this awareness the experience of a lucid dream is as real as waking state is more real than the rem dreaming or day dreaming or or simple imagination things are solid you can touch them you can smell them people seem to behave independently although you can control them but you can let them behave as they as they wish they seem to have their own personalities it is possible to manipulate the scenarios there objects etc locations can be changed at will but once they are changed they assume a complete reality of their own it is just like waking state with the added superpowers so the awareness does not make the illusion go away or does not weaken the illusion it actually makes it come alive it is like a immersive movie where you are the creator and so this has been uh, and this state uh, has been termed as uh, wish fulfilling zone because you can fulfill all your desires here it is as good as fulfilling those desires in the waking state and that is why you will see a star in front of this uh, lucid dreaming state because many seekers prefer this state for desire fulfillment they do not want to do that in the waking state because there are more consequences there there are serious consequences in the waking state if you fulfill your desires in lucid dreaming state the consequences are still there but they are limited to the dreaming zone in that area where this experience is happening nobody else gets harmed nobody else gets used it is all your own creation it is all your own imagination you are playing with yourself so it seems safe and just like rem dreaming the lucid dreams originate from the local memory that is the area in the memory that is closer to the individualized layers the whole world is manufactured uh, manufactured out of these memories and that is why you will see mix and match structures you will see your house resembles your waking house and so on nothing new is perceived there you may think that you are talking to somebody who is a complete stranger you have never met that person in the waking state but actually it is a character that is put together using your waking memories and sometimes resembles your brother or friend or anybody else they morph into something familiar one more thing to notice about this state is that it is very unstable the scenes do not stay for more than 2 or 3 seconds although the sense of time is completely distorted and that is why you know that it is not a waking state although it is as vivid and solid as the waking state because of the anomalies present in the state and because of your memory bridge you recall that all this that i am looking at is a dream usually these dreams they degenerate into rem dreams as soon as the bridge is bridge collapses the dreamer is forgotten and the identity is then lost in its own creation here you can suspect that something similar must be going on in the waking state about which we are going to talk in some time because of the awareness practices or natural talent in the seeker sometimes the projections happen at even higher layers and they happen just like lucid dream or a regular dream without planning without effort without any intention and produce an experience which looks like lucid dream but it's happening in a remote area in the universal memory and is a projection of one or the other layer middle or higher layers and i am calling them as the spontaneous projections they are a natural way 
to be introduced to the universal memory and to the whole layered structure of this entity that I call myself. And it has characteristics of lucid dreaming like uh, there will be body, there will be an identity and it will resemble your waking personality. If you are male in the waking state, this will be male. If you like certain kind of clothes in the waking state, same are going to appear here. You will talk the same language that you speak in the waking state and so on. But here there is a huge difference that many must have noticed that uh, you can manipulate only a um, limited part of the dream. It is a dreaming state. But to our surprise, even with complete awareness, we see that it takes effort to change something there. But it's not totally impossible. You can change things. You can fly, which is the most common thing to do. Because the rules of the dream or the rules of the waking state do not apply here. Immediately you will notice that there is more freedom here. And immediately you will notice that there are certain rules which cannot be broken. For example, if you see another person there, you cannot will it to turn into a dog or into a cartoon character, for example, or a superhero of your choice. And that entity remains what it is. And there, for the first time in your life, you realize that there are things beyond my imagination which I think are my imagination. This loss of control gives it even more reality that is paradoxical. The awareness makes it very, very real. Sometimes it, is, it seems more real than the waking state because there are sensory experiences that are not present in waking state. Plus, the lack of control gives it a solidity which we experience in the waking state. In the waking state, we cannot, we cannot manipulate the world simply by willing. We need to work at it. We need to do some effort to change things. And we cannot change people. We cannot change our body simply by thinking. This uh, lack of control gives it a reality. And that is why we assume that this waking state is real in quotes, although According to the standards that we set in uh, on the path of knowledge, it is completely fake. The waking state is a complete made-up experience. It is also a projection. But there is an illusion that it is real because we have these assumptions about what is real. In spontaneous projections also, there is a memory bridge and we are completely aware that I am the one who is sitting or uh, resting in the bed in a real world. But then it is very confusing because the scenes that are present in that state, they also look like real worlds with certain exceptions. There are anomalies, there are differences with respect to the waking memory that give us a hint that it is not our everyday world. There will be hints which will give you this knowledge that I am in some other area in the universal memory. If you recall, Every layer has a corresponding area and every area has corresponding worlds. If this ontological knowledge is not there about the structure of the universal memory, then such a seeker or a practitioner is terrified. The first thought that comes in their mind is that I am dead now. I have lost my body. I am not alive anymore. And this terror, this fear is enough to bring the person back into the waking state. So spontaneous projections are very, very fickle, flimsy. If it lasts for more than 10, 20, 30 seconds, it will be a big achievement. When people touch you in the spontaneous projection, when they speak to you, it is going to appear real. You receive the same touch that you receive in the waking state when other people touch you. You hear the same kind of sounds and voices which you hear in the waking world. And you will be surprised to know that this is not made by me. <laughs> this is the biggest shock. Even for a lucid dreamer, this will be a surprising event. The further you are from the local memory, or you can say waking memory, memory of the individual, the less control you will have on the scenarios in this state. However, there is no control over how to get there, how to achieve that state. It happens on its own when the conditions are right, when accidentally the awareness triggers in a dreaming state. You can go through a phase of lucid dream and then if the awareness is intensified, 
those who know how to shift the attention to the higher layers if they do that kind of ritual or technique to shift their attention to the higher layers with the help of a master guru or guide if they change their state from lucid dreaming to even higher if they shift their attention even higher they enter the projected state but it is not possible to do it directly from the waking state or from sleeping or rem dreaming state it takes a little bit of chance to reach here so we'll talk about these states in detail later on the next sub state in the dreaming state is all of our waking states the 12 states that i counted in previous episode they are all dreaming states actually they are a subset of the dreaming state and this is going to be a big shock for many people even for seasoned seekers why did i put all the waking state as a sub state of the dreaming think about it <laughs> it is the biggest shock of your life because all of the waking states no matter how aware or how rational or how intelligent those states are they are a dream this world is simply an area in the universal memory this body is simply a projection of one of the layers this identity is just imagine identity made up identity and if you don't remember who you are which an ordinary person an initiated seeker won't remember who he is then it is equal to rem dreaming actually not even lucid dreaming in highly advanced seekers there is a bridge between the causal body and the waking state which reminds them of this state being fake but they don't find any way to end it they don't find any way to control it and that state is equal to the spontaneous projections so a great amount of awareness and knowledge in the waking state turns the waking state into a dreaming state or more accurately a projected state so we'll talk about these things later on the next state in the dreaming category is the induced projections here the dreamer has complete control over entering the projected state entering an aware dream and it can happen directly from the waking state there is no need to go through sleep and to the rem dreaming and then to the lucid dreaming and uh, it is possible to convert the spontaneous projections into induced projections simply by adopting suitable techniques we are going to discuss all those techniques in great detail don't worry the characteristic here is that there is a memory bridge between the waking states and the projected state you know who you are you know what you are doing and there is some control over which area to visit in the universal memory there is some control over what kind of experiences you can have whom you can meet whom you can talk and unlike spontaneous projections or the lucid dreaming you will find definite worlds there that means there will be an objective experience of visiting the same place again and again and again same as you visit your nearest city or town and you find that it is a real town because the shops are same the buildings are same the bridges are same and the people are also same your friends there are same it does not look like that my waking state is a dream because of the solidity the semi permanence yes if if you visit the town after 20 years you will find that most of the people you knew are dead or they're gone they shifted from there the houses have changed the fashion has changed new shops opened up there even the streets are somewhat different and so on there is more pollution and so on so it is a semi permanent uh, experience and something similar will be found in the induced projections that to, it is it will be possible to go to the same place and have an objective consensus experience there you can make friends there and you will find that there are all kinds of areas all kinds of entities all kinds of creatures all kinds of places that are beyond our imagination and that is when you know that it is not my dream it is not coming from my memory it is not a creation of the local memory that is how you know and this gives it not a dream like quality not a fantasy like quality but hyper reality the hyper real state is a good word to describe what it is it may sound paradoxical that 
the strange creatures or the strange places should make me doubt that it is not real but just like we saw in previous cases that the memory bridges and the knowledge that i am the real person visiting this dream world actually enhances the dream world it actually makes it makes it more real somehow and the trick is awareness and the awareness gives it a reality of its own so it is not going to resemble your waking state at all but whatever is experienced there you will have no doubts in your mind that it was real sometimes it looks even more real than the waking states because our waking state is devoid of awareness most of the time the pressure to survive is so much here that the awareness cannot be kept on for long so the practitioners of the induced projections they master this these states and some may choose to stay there forever not not return to the waking states which are now seen as inferior states just like we don't want to shift permanently to our dream that we saw last night that experience was inferior compared to my waking state where i have my family i have my house my job everything imagine the waking state getting converted to a flimsy dreaming state would you like to re- return to that state now the waking has become the dream there is more reality out there in the universal memory than you have ever experienced and so your preferences change fortunately there is nothing to worry <laughs> if you have attachments here if you love your body and your house and your family and all the induced projections also end and usually they will end in a few minutes and may not happen every day or every night sometimes the attempt is successful sometimes it is not and so we remain anchored in the waking state so there is nothing to worry at all as long as this memory bridge is there you will not be lost in the universal memory forever you will always come back to the waking state and so there is a little bit of precaution that we need to take here if you are practicing these states keep the memory bridge active when you are projecting to the distant areas in the universal memory anyhow the lure of these states is too much and once you get a taste of it you will never leave this practice you will always desire for these experiences so this is the highest kind of uh, state a human being can be in you can imagine that there can be higher states than that for example equivalent to something like uh, absorbed states or equanimous states in the waking category when i was talking about the equanimous or absorbed state in the waking category i said that you will become aware of the universal memory and then it is no more a waking state it is no more limited to physical world with the physical body although in the seeker is not doing any kind of rituals or practices to enter those states it looks like that it is his waking state but actually he is well aware that i am in a dream the waking has already become dreaming for such a seeker he won't be a seeker now he will be a master so it is possible to form memory bridges with the causal bodies and all other bodies any kinds of memories and then gain a control over these states this is our higher being or you can say this is our higher self bigger self our extended self which is right now projecting into a so called physical world <laughs> nothing physical about it actually a so called physical body which is a projected body and has actually forgotten his higher being because of breaking of the memory bridges you remember your higher being you remember your higher self and the waking state will turn into a dream instantly so those who master the induced projections they may not choose to come back in the waking state so called waking state every state is waking state for them and they get this power to materialize into any area in the universal memory although many of the masters will choose not to do that unless it is very very necessary for some reason so this you can call it as a liberated state also and every experience is clearly seen as dreaming although by the magic of paradoxes everything is hyper real more real than the waking states more real than the lucid dreaming or any other state this is the paradox 
now we are going to discuss some more dreaming states that are not as desirable as these states that we discussed just now they happen as an attempt to reach the higher states so one of the state is called remote viewing or channeling or healing where the body is relaxed but the it is not a sleep state of any kind or rem dreaming of any kind the person is witnessing the physical world with the physical body and can talk and see everything normally but the attention shifts to the higher layers and now it becomes possible to gain access to any information in this world other worlds anywhere it is possible to communicate with some other entity in this in some other world in some remote area in the universal memory and it is also possible to manipulate the waking state a little bit that, that is why i included i included the healing activity here and we are going to talk about these things in greater detail later on right now i'm simply listing all the states in the dreaming category it's an overview and you will notice a common thing among these um, so called abilities that uh, they are focused on the present information in the present time the healing is happening in the present time whatever the other person is suffering from that is being viewed and cleared the channeling is happening in the present time and the remote viewing also is taking place at the present time you want to know what is going on in the other country in specific area and that will the present information will be accessed in these states so i call it the mixed dreaming state because um, it is not a total giving up of the waking state the attention is moving or you can say it includes the higher layers it is inclusive the attention range has widened so much that it is possible to become aware of other information from other parts of the universal memory then it is possible to read the future and it is possible to enter states or dreams which are precognitive in nature and many people get these experiences they are well documented some of them are studied nicely under the unfortunate umbrella of parapsychology which is not a well respected field of study these days but it was a full blown science in the distant past so it is possible to know a little bit about the events of the future it is possible to have precognition and such kind of experiences can be grouped under experiences of future future information is involved here and they are partial dreaming states only events are seen or events are known or felt something like this can happen and instantly the reader or the seeker comes back in the waking state instantly there are no dreaming or sleeping or loss of awareness does not happen then there are experiences that are focused on past such as past life readings what happened in the past which can be clubbed under dowsing or there is or the proper word is psychometry the murder took place in your village and now they call a priest or a shaman who has this kind of ability to enter into a altered state and find out what happened on the murder scene scene so in our society we do take um, help of such people although it never becomes a news because nobody believes it to find lost people to find lost uh, things or uh, treasures or water under the ground it is very very common actually the water dowsing is very common almost everybody is using it and what do we find there some information which is not accessible in the waking state it is usually related to the past time so it can be grouped under past information state then there is a group of dreaming states that happen without our desiring them they are almost spontaneous but they are afflicted states we don't want them hallucinations is are a good example which can happen to people who are lunatic in the dream, in the waking state who have mental disorders or are highly disturbed or there are delusions which can happen in the highly imaginative people or you can say criminal minds also a person can enter into a delusion that uh, my neighbor hates me my neighbor is going to kill me and everything that person sees 
in the waking state also is actually an overlap of his dreaming state hallucinations on the waking reality his neighbor is cutting wood in his garden with an axe the deluded person is not going to see the wood the, he will only see the axe covered in blood oh my neighbor murdered somebody it is a afflicted dreaming state that hallucination or that brief instance of daydreaming is so strong that the person is forced to assume that whatever i saw is real the delusion makes them project their dream on the reality so many people have studied these things under the psychology psychiatry afflicted states of the mind they are dreaming states that we don't want they are degraded states lower than the usual waking state then there are strange dreaming states for example the near death experiences nobody is going to call them a dream and nobody is going to call them waking so where do they fall really they fall somewhere in my opinion in the spontaneous projection or lucid dreaming area although the affected person is completely convinced that it happened but is actually is a dream which uh, went into a borderline projection that's all it is half of it is so real and vivid that the person is not going to say that it was a dream he will say it really happened i really met my grandfather who is long dead and so on and there will be instances of uh, ndes where the person is floating about his own dead body which is not so dead and will describe things in the operation theater or whatever that happened upon coming back into the waking state so these things are very puzzling for doctors and all and i think there are many doctors who went through this also and usually because of the ignorance the people assume things about it they either become religious or become uh, blind believers of some kind instead of actually studying what happened what what triggered the state change and there is no systematic study of it although d- there is huge amount of documentation and it, and literature about ndes those who are interested they can go and find it <laughs> and read it waste your time a seeker experiments it has nothing to do with death this physical body is already dead it is a dead body already our presence here our attention makes it alive so it is possible to explore these dreaming states experimentally and that is what a seeker is going to prefer there are more states that are worse than whatever we discussed here in the mixed dreaming states category and i'm going to call them afflicted dreaming states they are worse than hallucinations or delusions or ndes and obviously we don't want them the first is well known actually and very popular these are the drug induced dreaming states also known as the entheogens because people think that they provide some kind of spiritual experience no they simply distort your mind they simply break the workings of the layers and then whatever happens is a dreaming state now if awareness is maintained there which some of the drugs will allow then it looks like a spiritual experience which any monk or any seeker can achieve in 2 minutes by going into a meditative state very naturally the drug induced states cannot be controlled the kind of experience cannot be controlled it is a roller coaster ride driven by the drug and people take more drugs in the hopes of controlling the experiences repeating the experiences or making them more meaningful but usually they end up becoming drug addicts are there more seekers who are taking drugs or are there more drug addicts who are taking drugs you can do the math yes there is a tiny fraction of people who upon taking the drug induced experiences turn into a genuine seeker then they get involved in the knowledge in proper practices they approach a master who is experienced and so on they take a path and they give up the drugs they are disgusting plus the drugs they damage the body because they work through destruction they destroy the structures that keep us anchored in the waking state and with repeated use and they completely distort the reality of that drug addict 
it's not going to purify your mind if you are in a criminal state all day and you take drugs you will remain in the criminal mind you are not going to become a seeker a borderline stupid person or insane person if he takes drugs he can cause a lot of harm it's not going to make you spiritual so that's why i kept it under afflicted dreaming states they do provide an experience of the some kind of dream then there are more uh, white hat modes of entering the in lucid dreaming states and it is possible by using some devices for example floating tanks lights or sounds such as binaural beats it is possible that these devices assist in entering the aware dreaming states or sometimes even result in spontaneous projections but uh, there is something strange in the layers or in our minds actually that uh, the person becomes habitual of these devices and beats and water music or lights smokes and mirrors and they stop working or they produce hallucinatory experiences which are of no use they do not give us any knowledge they do not liberate us and we become dependent on these devices they are like crutches they are like training wheels it is okay to have one or two experiences and convince yourself that it is possible to have strange dreaming experiences and that is what they are going to look like to uninitiated seekers or just hobbyist kind of people you take away the device nothing happens which means zero progress you know spiritual progress there the person remains what he is so again i put it in under the afflicted category then there are states that people don't uh, think are afflicted like hypnotic states mesmerized states these are also one or other kinds of dreaming states only and the problem here is that somebody else has the control not you you experience something hallucinations some kind of delusions some kind of imagery you imagine something and that's all and you follow the commands of somebody else it is amusing for a while that this thing is possible and it has a little bit of therapeutic usage not much a little bit experimental i think there are some people who will claim that they are experts in it to relieve the trauma or phobias or whatever see there are all kinds of treatment methods under the sky and if it worked for you very good but they are not for a seeker the hypnotic trance is not for you so people combine these things sometimes and i'm horrified to see that they go to these extents will not take a proper path will not take a proper techniques and meditation but will do anything possible in their ability to mix the hypnotic states and devices and drugs together go to this shaman in that jungle and go to this strip and all you see but no they are afraid of being in meditation they are afraid of improving their awareness for some strange reasons and they call them themselves as seekers and it can be anything it can be insanity it can be stupidity it can be lack of rational abilities lack lack of awareness anything that they don't take a proper path it can be ignorance because they do not know anything about any proper path they do not know how to become a seeker and there is complete lack of knowledge there they think that i am the body inside which is a soul and the soul is doing these things and there are all kinds of stupid beliefs attached to these experiences now everything is magic for them so their waking state is affected and people rightly call them crazy yes they have gone crazy really so an intelligent seeker does not want these things that's why they are dreaming states but their afflictions misuse of our own abilities then finally there are accidental states of which nd forms a category and some dreaming states can happen because of trauma injury or extreme sadness extreme depression and so on which can lead to suicides or other kind of insanity so we don't want these things uh, instead of any kind of spiritual growth the person is traumatized because fearful of these states encounter with negative entities is one of the dreaming state which is afflicted now for the rest of his life he is not going to touch spirit spirituality and that is guaranteed he is not going to do any kind of meditation or entering lucid dreams or anything 
because of the intense terror that happened and will actually avoid any mention of spirituality because spirit means a negative entity for that person so these are afflicted dreaming states and fortunately they are very rare fortunately people fall into them and they mostly come out of them it is seen as allowed in many traditions because you see that is the only way to bring a completely materialistic person into spiritual field whether it is afflicted whether it is mixed dreaming state or whether it is a spontaneous projection or a, an accidental lucid dream a, pre- a precognitive dream something like they are accepted as wake up calls we only say that now don't sit there now don't assume things now don't form a, another religion around these <laughs> strange states try to know get the knowledge treat them as wake up calls you got a drug induced experience now that should be enough for an intelligent person to start on a path of knowledge or any other good spiritual path systematic path and those who become drug addict upon having these experiences well it is unfortunate there was no rational logical component there there was no intelligence there and so the wake up call is wasted actually it is unfortunate that that kind of fellow got the wake up call you can see that there is no end to study of these states and we are going to study them in more detail especially those in front of which i have drawn a star and in the next episode we are going to explore the third major group of states which is sleep